Hello, my solar energy community. How are you guys doing today? Is everybody okay? <laughs> it's your usual suspect. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. And hey, this is the SPDs, your such protective devices video remake. We did this video like three weeks ago, but hey, the audio wasn't that great. All right, so we got inundated with a lot of calls. People couldn't hear us and we needed everybody to understand how important it is to have the SPDs in place in your solar system installation. So we decided to have a remake of the video so you can hear us better, clearer audio, I guess. So do you think the SPDs are important in your installations? What do you think? But in case you've forgotten, this is exactly what can happen if you do your installations without your SPDs. And this even this <laughs> so if you want to find out how and where to apply your SPDs and how important it is you definitely have to stick around because I will be right here <laughs> Hey, I'm back. It's Tilly Kenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. If you haven't subscribed, you're missing out, all right? Because you need to officially be a member of this community, all right? From today, henceforth, nobody's ever going to tell you about what's happening in the solar technology world because you're officially a member. <laughs> and do not forget to comment, do not forget to share, and do not forget to like because you're family now. Okay, so let's get into it. The SPDs, your search protective devices. You know what the SPDs are like in your solar system installations? They're essentially like your bodyguards in a club. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you don't have any business being in the club, these guys are going to throw you out. They're not there to mess around. They're not playing. They're so mean. All right. So they're going to ensure that if you're not invited or you don't have a business in that club, you're never going to pass through them to get into the club. And that's essentially how the SPD functions. It's like a firewall, like that huge China wall. <laughs> All right. And it ensures that no transient voltage or surge finds its way or passes through it to get into this precious appliances that we all have assembled and damage it that's essentially the job of these surge protectors so it's important that in your installations it should never miss out it's essentially like paying insurance for your car you could drive your car the entire lifespan and sell it off and you never have a need for you to reap the benefits of the insurance you've been paying over the years but just that one day something happens you pack that car in the packing lot and you come out and the car is missing now those insurance you've been paying over time is going to come handy that's essentially how it's like like you have a house and you're paying insurance for that house and you've never had a need for you to reap the benefit of that insurance because it's paid for theft it's paid for vandalism it's paid for pretty much a collapse of the structure nothing of that nature has happened and just one day something happens the house catches fire and begins to burn down and they call you on the phone and they tell you hey your house is burning and you say hey i have a couple of drinks to finish first <laughs> you're not worried because insurance is going to take care of it right so that's essentially how the spds are in your installation so if your spds are there no matter how bad the search is it's never going to find its way into your very expensive appliances okay it's not going to destroy it so that surge is not going to pass through so you have found a way to insulate your appliances and that's the job of the spds so there are three places majorly you need to put your spds that's your search protective devices all right so one is going to be at the point of entry so that point where you have the grid coming into the house into the building wherever you're doing your connections there's a need for you to have an SPD at that point so you know essentially what happens at that point in the grid those high tension wires the voltage can go as high as 800 to 1500 and you need to stop those voltages in case you have a surge from getting into the house so that's why at that point of entry where you have the grid coming in because what happens is that when 
that very high voltage goes into the transformer the transformer in itself steps it down to the domestic voltage that we use here in nigeria is 220 to 260 volts that's the recommended voltage for domestic use in the us you have 110 volts all right so whilst the transformer is doing the step down something could happen you know sometimes you have that very very strong wind or you could have a storm and the wires all kind of tangle together or sometimes it could be an overload in the system and it's automatically kicks off a surge all right and when that surge is kicked if there's no spd at that point of entry it's going to find itself into the house and when it does trust me it's not funny it could burn down the house it has that potential so that's the job of the spd to ensure that whatever happens that voltage or that very very bad transient voltage doesn't find its way into the house and destroy these beautiful appliances that we have here you wouldn't want that to happen do you i'm sure you don't <laughs> so the second place is going to be the distribution center all right so a part of your house where you have the distribution section all right or you call it the distribution board aka db at that point the different parts of the house is segmented the loads all right so the wirings in the house are all segmented so you have a pad that caters for the air conditioners you have the pad that caters for uh, the lighting points the sockets you know basically everything is all segmented to ensure that it's easy to control so when you have fire in or surge or spark or breach in that section of the house it essentially shuts down okay to ensure that nothing happens so inside of that db what you have essentially in there all filled up controlling the different segments of the house of the building or wherever this installation is is actually uh, a such protective device okay so its job is to shut down this so when it senses there's a very bad voltage it shuts it down or trips off and stops it from further causing damage so that's the very second place you need this so you need to have a proper insulation to ensure that your appliances or your electrical wirings are safe and what is the third place the third place is going to be very close to appliances i'm sure you guys always see your air conditioners attached with very small components that's right that's the one that is an spd all right so you usually use it for uh, very sensitive appliances like your air conditioners your computers your televisions you always have a very little um, spd attached to it okay so it ensures that if um the bad voltages or the surge passes through these other places it still doesn't get to it so you have like very three stages where the spd needs to be now let's bring it back down to why we're here in the first place and that's about your solar system installations you have this so this is a digital search protector this is really very very cool okay so this is connected to your inverter line in line out that's connected from your input connected from your output so why do you need to put this input and output because you need to pretty much protect the inverters the inverters are expensive all right and that's someone's money right there so if you're a homeowner you need to ensure and ask that question repeatedly did you come with an spd it's important because all of this is your money okay so you need to protect the inverter so this is connected from the input of the inverter okay and it's also connected from the output so if you have a surge it doesn't get to the inverter and destroy the inverter so the inverter is completely insulated all right so if you also have like a spark or bridge it doesn't also come back to hurt the inverter you know what i like about this guy it has on the voltage protection all right it has over voltage protection it has a delay protection load cutoff or amperage cutoff so let me try and explain it in bits okay so the under voltage protection function that you have in this speed is essentially uh, when the voltage drops below the threshold or recommended threshold for domestic voltage so for instance in nigeria is 220 volts so the, when the voltage begins to drop below this recommended threshold then it it's considered to be a bad voltage that has the potential to damage your appliances so this guy will not let the voltage to come in if it's below the threshold of that domestic voltage all right so the overprotection too is the same thing all right it's like the opposite okay so when the voltage is above the threshold recommended threshold of that domestic voltage all right so when it begins to climb up to like 270 280 hey, it's considered to be dangerous to your appliances and hey this guy is going to call it back and say come on uh, you're not gonna get in and destroy my appliances my job is like a security guard i'm going to ensure that hey 
nothing of that sort is gonna happen these are my babies okay so you search you are not gonna go in there and cause a whole lot of damage okay so that's for the over voltage protection then you have the delay sometimes when the grid comes in it comes in as a surge okay because at that point in time lots of appliances from different buildings or different people who are connected to the transformers are not on yet so when it comes on it comes with a very high voltage and you need to have that delay effect for like a few seconds one two three four five seconds and they drop so it's very important so it doesn't hurt your appliances so all these measures need to be put in place and sometimes for the homeowner or for the installer the usage of these appliances is completely out of your control and sometimes they call you on the phone and they say ah oh, these appliances are really bad it's because of the usage all right and for you the homeowner who've spent a lot of money buying all of these things your solar charge controller your inverter the solar panels so you need to ensure that you'll be able to recoup your investments before it begins to have a problem so the usage essentially is out of your control so what do you do if you're not at home and you do not want them to put on so much load on your inverter? You can set it from these appliances to ensure that the amperage is cut off. So when, for instance, you don't want it to get above 10 amps, all right? So you set it on 10 amps. So if the load is beginning to be above 10 amps, this guy will definitely cut it off and ensure that it doesn't get there. So this is a lightning arrestor, it's a DC surge. So people out of default, when you say SPDs, their mind pretty much goes to lightning arrestor. That's not the only surge protective device that you have, okay? So, but it does a pretty very good job. It ensures that the lightning that happens when it rains, you know, when you have that very, very big rain, the rains are all over the place, and you have that thunder, then you have that blinding flash of uh, lightning. That lightning is very, very destructive. So you need to stop that current from having its way into your appliances. So once that lightning strikes, shoop, this guy is going to ensure that it deflects it and sends it down to the buried copper in the earth so every house pretty much has that provision where you have a copper buried in the earth that's essentially the earth of the house so it's connected to this guy and it's lined in here the negative and positive is lined into your solar charge controller and the down here is lined into your earth all right so when you have that lightning boom when it's raining and probably you're sleeping or you're stuck somewhere and suddenly that comes that very blinding flash of a lightning poof this guy will deflect it like real quick send it all the way down to the earth taking it all away from your charge controller your solar panels your inverter everything is pretty much safe but this has to be in place so your installation is not considered complete if you do not have the surge protective devices all in place it's very important all right so you have to take the pains to um bear the extra cost because this can save you a whole lot of pain when that time for it to act comes and there is no defense so you know that everything pretty much you that's why you have the police that's why you have the security guards in your system that's why you have um antivirus in your systems as well and you also have firewalls so you have security defenders in your um systems the essence is to ensure that nothing passes through but when you have an installation and it's open and there's nothing to it there's nothing protecting it any surge any bad surge will completely find its way into the installation and mess things up for you you don't want that to happen do you and finally this is really the coolest for me <laughs> i love this a whole lot so i use this for most of my installations all right so i line in the batteries in here from the input and from the output i send it to the inverter so this ensures that you have a very smooth transmission from your batteries because you have a lot of amperage from your battery and when you're connecting your batteries to your inverters you know your hands are never gonna be steady i'm not saying you're drunk but <laughs> <laughs> most times it's tough for your hands to be steady all right so when you're trying to connect these very high amperage batteries directly to your inverters or your charge controllers your hands are gonna shake okay so when that happens there will be a surge and that surge can potentially damage your appliances your inverter and your charge controller so you need this circuit breaker slash surge protector to ensure that you have um, a very smooth transmission okay from the batteries to the inverter so if you're also having maintenance or there's serious issues in the installation and someone is calling you on the phone and say hey there's something happening there's a spark here all you can do is to tell the person okay go to that battery disconnector and 
pretty much shut it down okay so these are the things that has to be in place and you know that you have a standard installation all of these investments everything pretty much is in good hands all right okay that's the very much we can so if you haven't subscribed hey come on we need you to be part of this community all right and don't forget that when you subscribe you'll be the very first to know when we have fresh and brand new videos okay thank you very much do not forget to comment do not forget to share and do not forget to like all right see you guys in the next one